Welcome back to my design, creativity and technology channel. My name's Aaron. In today's episode of Fusion Fortnite, we're going to be exploring the Sketch Revolve function in Fusion 360. We're going to be comparing and contrasting the difference between why you'd use Sketch Revolve instead of just simple um, Sketch Extrusion. And we'll also be exploring the Sketch Revolve Cut function in, uh, inside Fusion 360. So let's get started and I encourage you to do the tutorials at home and to, to learn Fusion 360 for yourself. Now the project we're drawing for this is a very basic simple part. Once again these are some of the easiest ways for you to learn Fusion 360. This is a nylophane rubber out of a suspension joint. Uh, I believe it's out of a Nissan. And we can double check on those dimensions through here. So with Fusion 360 open, now there's two ways of drawing this and like I said last in the last episode there is no right or wrong way. If you if you get the desired uh, result, well, you've accomplished it. Uh, now, what a lot of people want to do here, they want to uh, usually draw a series of circles, extrusions, and extrude cut. Now, we'll do it that way first, and then I'll do the re the uh, sketch revolve. And I think you'll agree with me that the sketch revolve is the easiest way to do it. So, to start this off, basically, so we'll recap on last week's episode where we did some basic sketching. So we're going to pick, uh, select a create a sketch. We're going to select the ground plane. We can then come up here to sketch and we want a circle and we want a center diameter circle and we snap it to the center, drag out. And once again, don't terminate it. Type in 30, 38, tab, enter. Come up here to create. We're going to extrude. We want to click that face. Uh, we want to drag that up five millimeters and accept it. Now to draw on this face we have to select it, it turns blue, click on our sketch, create a circle, center diameter circle and once again come out to here. Now this out OD for this side here is 30, tab enter, we can drag out a dimension, remember create, always look to the side for your shortcut key, E for extrude and this one will come up now I believe 24.5, enter hit the home button, we can zoom in here again, click the top face. Now we want to draw another sketch on here, so that's why we select that top face. Remember in a sketch, circle is C for circle, center circle. Click the center and drag out. Before you terminate, remember, type in your measurement, and that is 22.5, and tab enter. Now if we come back to this home view, and I press the shortcut key now for extrude E, Last week when I was talking to you, I was telling you that um, I prefer to extrude in the upward direction unless you want to cut and then you extrude in the downward direction. And that's a good practice to have. So we click that, that um, profile and we're going to drag it down through the body. Now we can go right through because it's parametric, it doesn't really matter. But we can stop it there. Notice it's in the negative and it's telling it to cut over here in our little dialog box. And the, remember the total length was 29.5 so we can type that in here. enter and there we have it our completed bush now you can see down in the timeline I actually went through a lot of processes to draw this little part there's three sketches and three extrusion well, two extrusion and one extrude cut we'll hit the playback to show you that now typically this is what a lot of people want to do now if you wanted to take this bush in a machine it yourself in your CNC lathe there is an easier way and we'll do that now so I'll leave this one open and by leaving it open, I'll go back to my YouTube videos here that I created. And while I'm here with you now, I might just change the file name of that, rename. We're going to cause that Fusion 360 Fortnite. And enter. And I'll go into that now, open it up, and there's our part from last week. And let's save this one in here. You can see it's going into there, and we'll call it bush. Okay, extrusion, enter. Close our data panel. It's starting up to the cloud now, you can see it populating, and we'll open up a new design. New design. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna do the sketch revolve feature. We click the create a sketch. We're gonna click this front plane, and the very first, first thing we're going to do is draw a straight line. So remember from last week, L for line, start from here and go up. And we want a height of about, I'd say, 
we'll just keep it at the same height, 29.5. Enter. Now, why you've got this line drawn, select the line, it will, it will turn, notice here it's like a pale blue, when I select it, it goes to a bold blue. Come over here to your sketch palette, and at the very top it says normal or construction. If we click that little icon, it will now turn that line to a construction line. This will now allow us to create our profile. So remember the shortcut key for line was L. L for line, we're gonna start off here, we can zoom in a little bit, make it a bit easier for us. And the first line will come straight down from here to the bottom, we'll come out, we'll go up, we'll come back, up, and terminate. Now sometimes, okay, there we go, terminate. Alrighty, so here we go. We need to put some dimensions on that. Now remember from last week episode, it was shortcut key for dimension was D. So here we go, D for dimension, and let's just lock these down, okay? 29.5. Now, did you see that my line lifted up then off the ground plane, off the X plane? We can grab that and pull him back down there. That's not a problem. Uh, D for dimension, we could need a height of five, and that's right. Now, this OD from here to here. Now, don't forget, because we're doing a, a profile, and we're gonna revolve it, these will be radius dimensions, and I'll show you how to do that. Click the center line, click the line here, snap it here. Now that total diameter was 38. So typing 38 line or slash, that is divided by two, enter. And that gives us that radius dimension. We've just worked it out sort of manually. And we'll take that one over to that side, make it a bit easier. Okay, here we go, the ID now. So click on the construction line, click on the ID and come up here. Okay, and this one's going to be, I believe, 22.5. Okay, line divided by two, and I'll take that out. Now you can see how this line's crossed over. Don't panic. Simply grab the line here, select it, and drag it over. All right, and you can fix that quite easily. Now we need to snap this one on here, so it's a diameter as well. So I've already got him here. We'll take him up, let's drag him down a little bit so we can see it. That's going to be 30 divided by two, which is 15, okay? Right, so we've got a height of five. We've got the overall outside di diameter is 19. The OD of the bush is um, 30, which is 15, okay? This one is 38 and 11.25, which should be 22.5. And here we go. So. Once that bush is done, we've drawn the profile, we can now use our create, and we're gonna do revolve. Now, in your revolve palette, it's asking you which sketch do you wanna to use to revolve? I want that one. Which axis do you want to use? Select the axis and click the construction line that you did. Click OK, put it into a home view, and there we have it, else two. There's the design one that we did. You can see here it's identical. When I click on our second one and I click the home button, both these parts are identical. But look down in the timeline, how much easier was it to do the revolve? And I think you'll agree with me, it's a much simpler way to do it. So we're going to open our data panel, we're going to save this one, and we're going to call it Bush Revolve. Okay. Have a try at that yourself and get ready for the next uh, demonstration coming up very shortly. So let's have a crack at drawing this pencil. So what we want to do is create a sketch and we're going to click the ground plane here. Come up to your sketch tools and pick polygon, circumscribed polygon. Snap it to the centre. As you drag out, stay along the red axis line. Don't let it uh, waver off or drift off. Keep on that red line there and terminate. D for sketch dimension, click one side, let go of the mouse, click the other side, let go of the mouse, drag up. And this is going to be an imperial measurement, so we're going to do some, uh, enter a formula. So we're going to go uh, shift 9 key, which is bracket. We're going to type in 930 seconds, so or 932s, close brackets, so 9 slash 32. Shift 8 now for asterisk, 25.4, because we want to convert it back over to metric for our pencil. And here we have it here, 7.144.
Now, we're going to extrude that now. So once again, the shortcut key for extrude is E. Uh, put it over in the home view, click this sketch here, and we can start to drag up. And in our distance, we want to make that six inches. So once again, we'll have to convert. So six, shift eight, get the asterisk 25.4, enter. And we should have our rough shape of our pencil here at the moment. Now we're going to do the revolve cut, and this involves uh, drawing two sketches. And so we need to click create a sketch plane. And we want to pick this front window here, and you can see it, it uh, cuts through the mid, mid plane of the entire pencil. So that's what we want. Click on that plane, L for line. We're going to come over here, and on our front view, we're going to rotate over once, and we're going to snap it to that point there and drag it out. Now we're just going to continue that across, just uh, freehand it down, don't have to be too fussy with it. There's only one dimension we need to put in here and that is the angle. So D for dimension, click there, angle we want and click that line there and drag it out. And we want 15 degrees, enter. And you can see it's uh, no problem there, it's gonna miss it. Come over to the other side. Now we wanna put the round edge on this pencil. Okay, click sketch. Uh, come down here to arc, we want a three point arc, we're going to zoom in a little bit, we're not going to snap it to the edge there, we're just going to come out a little bit, and we're going to go past this point over here, just roughly by eye, and we'll pull that down to about there, so we get a nice curve. So now we're going to join these lines up, alpha line. So now we're ready to do our revolve. We've got our profile drawn on the pencil end. If we go to the other side, we've got our little round piece there. Come back over. We're gonna pick Create, Revolve. We wanna pick that one, and we wanna click this one here as well. For the axes, we wanna click the blue to highlight the axes. Click this line here, and click OK. You see we've got a nice round edge of our pencil here, and we should have a nice point on our pencil. And there we have it. Well, there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Fusion Fortnite episode on uh, Sketch Revolve. Uh, please, I really appreciate the thumbs up, the likes and the shares. And uh, feel free to drop me a comment and down below in the comment section. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye.